Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to toggle the touch and trim automation mode in Reaper. Now I have a project in front of me here and I want to automate my vocal track. There's a few different ways of doing it, but they tend to be a bit slow. We can go to the track and hit the envelope button and switch the mode right here from trim read to touch, latch, or right. We could also right click over here and go all the way down and switch the modes from here. We could also right click the track and go down to track automation mode and switch them from this menu. Or we could create a toolbar to switch the modes. I created one over here. So I could select my track, hit right, latch, touch, or trim mode right from that toolbar. But if we're trying to do this very quickly, you might want a different way. And very recently, I discovered an action to do that. If we go to the action menu, action list, we could type in touch trim toggle and see an action right over here. And this is going to toggle our track between touch and trim modes. So we can jump back and forth very quickly and very easily. Hit run, it switches to touch mode, hit it again, it switches back to trim mode, which in most cases is all we need to do to automate our tracks. So I'm going to show you a few different ways we could use this very quickly. My favorite way is to put it on the main toolbar. We could right click over here, customize toolbar. Here's the main toolbar and just add it down here. And the action shows up. We want to add. Just double click it and it shows up right down here. But let's give it an icon, change icon to touch. So it's going to look like this. And it's going to show up like this. So you can close it and save it. Now we have that toolbar button right in here. So if I want to automate the vocal track, I could just select it, hit the button, and I'm in touch mode. And I can start automating my track that easily. When I'm done, just hit it again, and I'm back to trim read mode. That's pretty quick. Another way we could do it is we could add it to the right click menu on our track. Right over here, as I showed you earlier, we can go down here to the track automation mode and choose it from the submenu. But it takes a bit more time to scroll down this far. So let's put it up here at the top. We'll go to the options menu and go down here to customize menus and toolbars. Then we're going to find that menu right over here, track control panel context. And right up here, I'm going to add a separator and then the action we've been using. Now, if you notice, it shows up right away because I turned on the option, remember last action filter. So it's saving that each time. So you might want to turn that on when you're doing this. Just choose it and it shows up right here. But I'm going to rename it to make it easier by double clicking and call it touch mode toggle. And that's going to show up just like this. Save it. Now we could right click our track and choose it right here. And it's kind of helpful because we have to select our track anyway. If we want to automate the vocal, just right click, touch mode toggle, and it's in touch mode. And I could write volume automation that easily. And what's great about touch mode is we can automate other things without erasing these. For example, let's automate my synth, right click it, 
touch mode toggle, grab the fader, and start writing volume automation. Now let's say I wanted to add some pan. Just grab the pan and start writing it. And it doesn't affect the volume automation. We do the same thing with plugins. I can go to an EQ, I put on the track, and just start automating that filter. And it's going to automate it without affecting the volume or pan. That's the benefit of touch mode. It's only going to rewrite if we touch the parameter. So if I grab the volume along the way, it's going to rewrite that parameter. And if I let go, it keeps the other automation. So in most cases, touch automation is all we need. So toggling back and forth with that mode makes the most sense. Now, another way we could do it, which is also very quick, is to add a keyboard shortcut to it. So let's go back to our actions. And again, it's right here. Just add a keyboard shortcut to the action. I'm going to use Control T, but you can use whatever keyboard shortcut you prefer. And now we can just select any track we want to automate, hit that keyboard shortcut, and we're in touch mode. And we can start writing automation that easily. Hit the keyboard shortcut again to go back to touch. I'm going to jump ahead to my synth, hit the keyboard shortcut, and just start writing. And switch it back that easily. It could be a lot faster than choosing the automation modes from here or from here or even creating a separate toolbar like this. Although I tend to use this if I'm going to be using different modes. But if I just want to quickly automate something, it's a lot quicker to use the keyboard shortcut or right click it or use the toolbar button right up here and toggle back and forth between touch mode and trim mode or trim read mode. So that's pretty much it. That's how to toggle the touch and trim automation mode in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.